Good evening. Evil C, nice to see you. I can't see you, but you know what I mean. You can see me. Um, I'm up for a fail right at the start. <laughs> oh. The, um, this is a SCSI tape drive with SCSI me with uh, tape media. The tape's knackered. It was working today, I was, this afternoon I uh, tested it and um, catalogued the tape even though um, even though the tape drive's got big black crosses on it there saying it's faulty um, I actually managed to catalogue this tape well yeah it did catalogue I couldn't restore I was just going to test restore it uh, I couldn't restore it because this is a uh, part I think it's the first tape in a two tape set so the catalogue asked for the next tape in the set whether it was one or two tapes I don't know um, but anyway I just fired up the machine to start the stream and uh, it was constantly rewinding and you can see you might be able to see uh, this band here I think has either broken stretched or come come off its come off its rails yeah you can see the remnants of the uh, tape down in here if I can get it to focus you can see it just there so <laughs> I can't do what I wanted to do tonight I was just I just wanted to piss around with um, tape back up in the store because I could you know wanted to test this drive makes it's it's a bit noisy but I, I think it's actually working as I say I catalogue the tape so I need to look out for some media uh, maybe I need to put a shout out uh, on the discord to see if anyone's got any media because um, at this stage I think that's all that's holding me back from carrying on with this Yeah. I'm just going to drop back that music a little bit there, just so I'm not competing with it. I'm not sure. I don't have feedback from my headphones, so I don't know if it's too quiet now. But um, yeah, so they don't actually have um, what do you call them? Reels? You know, like driven reels, obviously. It, it relies on um, this band to actually drive these reels around. You can see it falling down in here. Tempted to see if I can open it up and maybe get a replacement band for it, you know. Oh yeah, thanks for that. Um, yeah, so it's a bit of a bugger because I've got the bloody boxed version of quarterback and everything and I've installed it and it ran and I cat say catalogued the tape uh, anyway that that little project will have to wait um, I've got the uh, I've even got you know the manual it's got a scheduler program and everything original um, the original discs I took a copy of the the discs and whatnot so I thought oh that'll be that'll be an interesting uh, little bit of content for the stream but we'll have to we'll have to wait for that one but I've got some uh, updates and bits and pieces that I wanted to talk about nothing too outrageously exciting but you know yeah, I was wondering about that. Um, I was looking closely at the the way this one is constructed. Uh, if you have a look, there's two screws, one there, one there. And then maybe, is it like plastic clips? Just here, 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 and here. And I wonder if, um, if I carefully 
try and open this up, uh, then it's a matter of finding a band for it, right? But, you know, it might be cheaper and easier just to buy some tapes if anyone's got any tapes. So, I want to, um, you know, I can buy off someone. I'll just say I'll put it up on the Discord, see if anyone's got anything. That tape actually came out of this other drive, which you can't quite see here. This beast here, which someone's someone has just mounted to this power supply slash drive chassis, etc. This beast here takes the same type of tape. This is actually, I think, uh, that tape was sitting in here. But um, the spindle, this spindle seems very tight. This motor spindle, that brass uh, motor spindle there, seems really tight. And um, I'm not sure if it's, I don't think the spindle itself is seized up. I think it's what it's connected to is seized up. Yeah, oh, okay. Oh, I might, um, I might put a shout out out for um, some media. Not that it's, I mean, it's no use these days. Is it? I don't need to back up uh, the drive. I don't need to back anything up on these, really. I just remove the hard drive and slave it onto my computer down here and image them. Um, but, you know, something to play around with, hey? Sort of go old school. Uh, so, I found more CDs. I actually, uh, they were, they were here when I did the little sort out the other day. Um, <laughs> it's just that they were buried. Oh, by the way, that um, that power supply, this one works. It's been hacked around with. So what they've done is they've um, just. Uh, just got this one Molex coming out of here. That's it. So, you know, they've obviously repurposed the power supply just to run tape drive here. But I suspect that's, uh, it is a good, well, it's running, it's, it does power up drive. Uh, I've tested it, it works. So that's handy to have spare power supply because I know I've got two dead ones. This is a dead one. That one there is a no-go and I've got another one in the garage which is a no-go. No life whatsoever. I um, tested it with a couple of old hard drives just to supply a bit of a load in case uh, you know not sure if they're fussy about having loads on them or not but it's always the safest thing to do, isn't it, to load them up a little bit. Um, so, one thing at a time here. Keyboards. The keyboards I've got. Just to show you what I've tested. Now I've got uh, that is perfectly 100% working keyboard. It's got this uh, splash guard cover on it. It's sort of a, like a rubbery splash guard. Quite nice. You know, it's not overly thick or anything. It's, um, it's a reasonably thin sort of membrane that goes over the top. You can, you know, save your keyboard from a coffee spill. So we've got that one tested absolutely fine. And I've got another one that tested absolutely fine. It's got a question mark here, this one, but tested fine, no worries. Uh, not sure what sort of switches they are. They feel very linear, if you know what I mean. They don't have that um, rubber dome feel about them. 
quite nice. Nice to type on. A bit like this one here. Yeah, that one. This is the one that I use. They've got quite a nice feel about them. Very sort of linear. Um, so anyway, that's the one I've been using. 100%. No worries. I've got another one here that I've been using because I've got the two Amiga 2000 set up here. Uh, this is actually an Amiga 3000 keyboard. That one's got a bit more of a, a rubber dome feel. But still quite nice. So that one I have sort of just standing by. So I can use my, I can use two Amigas there and I've got a pile here uh, just a bit of an update the Amiga 3000 keyboard again another one this one um, space no go space bar dead so you know I'm thinking that um, I can probably make good ones from uh, these faulty ones Here's another uh, Amiga 3000 keyboard, broken uh, stem and a missing left alt. I think that's all that's wrong. It's okay, everything else works, you know. So there's uh, a good, nearly 100% perfect. And I mean, to be honest, you don't really need the left alt. You can get away with it because, well not that I, I think left and right alt are identical so you can get away with uh, just using the right alt I guess another um, 2000 keyboard that one okay but some keys are low yeah so uh, actually has that one come right there were some keys that were just sort of stuck down but it's actually, I think it's come right. And that tested fine as well. I think it was one of these keys here. And maybe that one. And it seems to have righted itself, whether it's just the fact that it's been um, stood up like that. And stored, I stored it like that overnight. Also had a, um, a heater going in the room as well, which may have uh, affected things, you know, in a good way. <laughs> Another Omega 2000 keyboard, broken stem on the num6 there, looks like someone's tried to repair it by gluing something, but it's not, it's not rebounding, so I'm not quite sure, I haven't taken any of these apart to sort of figure out how they, they work. And, and it tested okay, you know, apart from that, number six broken stem, you know, so close to 100% working keyboards, really. But I do, um, oh, I had two completely dead boards, which I don't have here, I've put them away. Two completely dead boards, uh, keyboards. So dead that when you plug them into the computer, that the computer just refuses to boot. <laughs> Missing keycap, Dell keycap, I think. That's all that's wrong. Missing Dell keycap, enter key stiff. Oops. But that's freed up again, that's freed up as well. So I wonder just, um, yeah, yeah, definitely make, I think I can make quite a few good ones, eh? And um, the last one here is a uh, another 3000 keyboard. It says, uh, it's written in sort of pencil down here, it says spacebar doesn't work, that's not my writing. Key stiff and not returning, space. So it's stiff keys.
feels feels okay. Probably, I mean, obviously you can do with a clean, right? Pretty, pretty hairy looking. So that's the that's the keyboard situation. And um, I just wanted to go through some of these CDs that some more of these CDs that I've got uh, well that I unearthed forgot to go through uh, just to see if I've got more double ups because I put it I put aside a bunch of double ups to to move on um, so drop something here. Oops. We'll have a, a closer look at some of these CDs. AGA. Actually, I think I've got a copy of that. That's. Oh, I'm wondering if I've also got the empty, um, the empty jewel case for it. Got a couple of CD uh, TV titles. Oops, sorry. Right just there. Just turn it away. Timetable of history. Reference for all ages, CD TV. Multimedia. Um, more Amiga formats. So basically this, all the cover discs I won't spend too much time with, but I will go through and make sure I don't have double ups. Oh, here's a, here's a different, uh, oh actually, so this one here, that one is science and innovation. This one's business, politics, and media. CDTV, timetable of history. Could be kind of cool. CD32 Gamer, looks like uh, a copy, maybe cover disc five, or someone's made this, made this cover up. But there, that looks like the original disc there. CD32 Gamer. Cool. Oh, more, more CD32 Gamer. That one. World Atlas CD32 Omega 1200 and um, 4000. World Atlas. Another CD32 cover disc. Cover disc, software 2000. I think maybe I've got a copy of that. Possibly that'll be something that I'll double check. We've got software collection, home design 3D, quick and easy CAD, and flower gardening expert. Runs on Windows 3.1.95.98. So that's not a Mega then, is it, eh? Huh. Oh, that's PC. I'll put that in a completely separate pile. More um, cover discs. I think I have this. 
another copy of this as well, Magic Publisher. Includes Final Writer 4SE. Cover disc. Look at that, the warehouse uh, CD case, so you buy a jewel case for two bucks back in the day. <laughs> cover disc, cover disc, phase two, fonts, clip art, and images, Amiga format. Basically, a cover disc, right? I guess. Learning curve. The learning curve, Weird Science Limited. That's non covetous. Word Worth 6 Office. I think I've got a copy of that. Cover disc. Cover disc. I think I've seen that one. It might be a double up. Cover disc. Empty, empty cover disc. Jewel case. That looks familiar as well. Cover disc, cover disc, cover disc. And finally, oh, I'm not actually sure if, I'll just give that a wipe because it's a bit dusty. I'm not sure exactly what's in here. Loose discs, I would say. Yeah. Oh, Aminet. Ah, so I was missing some of these. So these Aminet sets. Network CD Volume 2, Network 17 bit C CD TV. Public domain collection for CDTV. I wonder if they can just be outright copied and, you know, I mean, I don't know whether Kasanomi would uh, want to copy. I don't know. But he, you know, you can probably just download the ISOs and burn them, right? I guess. Okay, so um, I need to go through and, you know, sort out my double ups and whatnot. I won't do that on stream. It's a bit, it's a bit boring for the for the stream. Although I'm not sure what else I'm going to do now that my uh, tape tape drive <laughs> my tape has decided to um, give up the ghost. Maybe we could uh, have a look at some of these CDs. So uh, maybe do that, eh? Which means I have to swap computers here. This will kill the music because I'm playing the music on the Amiga here. This is my 040, uh, not as well set up as my 030, because it's, the 030 is the one that I've been working on mostly lately.
Yeah. Yeah, I, I didn't know that about the pie storm, hey? So from from what I gathered is if you're running a pie storm, you can't use any of your Zorro 2 devices. Is, is that how it's working? It's, uh, geez, you think that, uh, You know that that's quite a design flaw, isn't it? Or is it is it is it a design flaw? Uh, or not design flaw? I guess it could be a little bit too expensive to maybe put right as as such. Is it, is it you know as far as the designers are concerned? I don't know, but geez, yeah, that's a bit rough. Yeah, I did see um, Gadget UK talking about those, uh, you know, termination resistors and and Rev six versus Rev four boards and things like that. It gets complicated, uh, you know, as to what needs what. You know, you, you can remove resistor packs and things like that by the sounds of it. And those two um, LS was it the LS Logic. Um, chips he swapped out yeah interesting videos yeah I did see something about that uh, what else do I need to do I need to swap the audio in case we have any audio going on right yeah Yeah. Uh, so what? So the Pi Storm, I don't know much about them, but from what I know, one thing is I know I know it's a, an accelerator, right? Yeah. Um, can't remember which video it was. If I see it, I'll I'll link it in to you on the Discord. Um, it's an accelerator, right? But can you can you run a drive, you know, hard drive with it, or is that not sort of part of the Pi Storm? As I say, I don't know much about it. I've been out of touch. I am out of touch with the Amiga really at the moment. But um, yeah, right. Let's have a look at some of these CDs, eh? What looked interesting? Well, I could put Wordworth on here, right? It's a word processor. It's if I don't already have it. I do. Wordworth 6. Except it's not installed correctly. Is that right? <laughs> yeah. Something to do with a path issue, I would say. Maybe I should have a go at reinstalling it. English and German. Uh, that might be a bit dry for the stream. What's this here? The learning curve. Weird science. Yep. Yep. I like doing things the old way, the hard way. If I, you know, if I can, I'm, I'm lucky enough to have the hardware to do it, do a lot of it um, but if I didn't I would definitely be looking at those options for sure here we 
we go. Let's see what we've got here. Okay. Um, play title, TLC intro. Loading title, non AGA version. You can't quite see all of the screen, sorry, and I can't adjust the monitor anymore, but you're not seeing the full. Actually, what does this look like? Oh, that looks horrible, eh? That was just the title. <laughs> the Learning Curve CD presents a fantastic and magical... Oh, this is hard to read. Look at that. Magical journey through exciting subjects brought together for the first time on an Amiga CD. Containing over 32,000 files, this title will delight and interest both young and old. With the vast diversity and quantity of Amiga educational and informational programs featured, all of the programs can be run directly from the compact disc with no unarchiving on any Amiga Workbench 2.04 Plus, a unique CD providing productive culture. Ah, uh, sorry. It Oh, edutainment maybe for oh god blimey I can't read it <laughs> so let's have a look here aircraft Air show, air show. Hello and welcome to the short slideshow. Just a few pictures of aircraft photographed at air shows. PP show unknown command. <laughs> okay, so I have to install PP show, I guess, do I? <laughs> Something's not right, eh? I'll just let that run. Try assigning the CD and see whether. Oh, there we go. Look, you have to assign the CD. I remember. I thought you had to do that in, um, with Super Frog as well, but it, it appears you don't necessarily have to. <laughs> that yeah, these images are. They look like they've been scanned on uh, like DigiView or something, eh? Try that again. Go four. Let's try go four. Desert storm. Do you just leave? Or do you click? 
Operation Desert Storm, American tanks, tanks used by US forces in the Gulf War. I think I sort of wondered whether you can scroll through more, but left clicking does nothing. Right click takes you back out. T-72 tank that the instructions uh, supplied with this are non-existent fairly, fairly much it's, I'm not sure if I'm supposed to be seeing more here or not Patriot missile. Patriot anti missile system. Still used today, eh? Looks quite nice on the uh, on the CRT, I must say. Apart from that jittering there. Yeah, sorry. Planes used, MiG-21. Quit guide. Misha Smith. Misha Smith. Her animated the BF-109. <laughs> Documents. Click here first using the left mouse button. How to use this program, overview development of the 109. Some historical information. Picture gallery. Allow up to 30 seconds to load. <laughs> Click in order. Different, eh? Click and order the squared off wings, the rounded off wings, the extended wing, not drawn to scale. Recognition features. 
click on the pictures for information. Click again to close the text display before clicking another picture. Oh look, we got documents. Hard disk install. Hard disk installation. Read all of it. No thanks. other titles a1200 so the yeah it'd be interesting to compare the two versions a eh? the AGA version and the standard chipset versions pilot animation pilot ECS <laughs> Big crash. Hello. I think I remember that. Eighty nine, yeah. I remember that being on the news. <laughs> RAF fast jets, Harrier, Harrier image, yeah so that you know they just look like they've been digitized, scanned you know from an image, I'm sure the Amiga can do better than that eh, bloody hell. So we've got a lot of different subjects here. Art, computers. Oh, let's have a look. CD-ROMs explained. <laughs> oh wow! Layers talks about the layers of the CD. Wow, that's in depth, isn't it? Different modes, file systems. The future of the CD, not yet, sad face. The interface, Guzzi, AT bus, Mits Mitsumi, Sony, Panasonic, IDE, PCMCA, computer, A4000, Access Tandem. A six hundred twelve hundred four thousand T PCMCA adapters talking about Amiga single double triple quad speed and beyond list of CD ROM drives oh wow look at that <laughs> A lot of information on this disc eh CD changer, CD recordable, caddy or drawer, problems, A3000 Western Digital Proto Chip, huh. external SCSI, A3000, A4000 internal drive bay, Synchronous, synchronous transfers. CD32 was mentioned. 
Utilities not yet, sad face. Here's a list of all the CD-ROMs that we used in the different models. There it is. The following hardware setup is known not to work or to have s severe problems. Amiga 2000 GVP Series 1, GVP S Series 2, GVP, sorry, Series 2, NEC CDR. So this, they're talking about, oh, look, GVP Combo. That's, that's the card I'm running in my 030. Uh, is not compatible with the Toshiba 3401 drive. That's, that's some interesting information in here, isn't it? Huh. Audio. CD audio. Wow. It's a little gold mine of information there. Emulations, MPEG, CD32 games, CD plus G classic, classic by Warner Brothers. Classical. Accessing CDs in a BBS. <laughs> Glossary, legal stuff, blah blah blah. Huh. CD-ROMs information. CD-ROMs explained. Pretty handy. Complete DOS manual. DOS man. DOS man guide. Oh yeah. This is uh, Omega DOS, yeah. Yeah, it makes sense. Huh. That could be quite handy though, eh? Add buffers. Gives you the syntax, you know. Tells you what it does. Keywords, examples, that's pretty handy. Helpful guides. Installer guide, operating system guide, Omega Network. AREX, LIBS explained, IDE, HTML2, HTML3, COMS, huh, very helpful information. Jeez. How computers work. Monitors explained. TBOML guide. ASA. All monitors make sorted. All monitors size sorted. Commodore 1940. Tells you what the dot pitch is, scan frequencies, bandwidth, no, max res. Commodore menu, 1950, 1942, 14 inch. Huh, look at that, eh? ViewSonic. ViewSonic. What have I got? VE155. It's not there, is it? These are all. These would be CRTs, eh? <laughs> Very cool. Inside the Amiga. Amiga slides. J minor picture. J minor interview. Slides, is that going to work?
J minor. <laughs> nice Amiga 1000 there. Cool looking monitor. J minor interview. Pasadena 1992. Ah, cool. Uh, what happened to it? Oh, yeah, it goes. Inside Workbench 2 tutorial. <laughs> Files explained, menus, windows, and more. Huh. Workbench 3 guide, system guide, Noah's Ark, Guru 3. Computers, desktop utilities, electronics, hobbies, history, health, geography, engineering. You can see them all there. Um, interesting. System. Flash. Fix colors. Hmm. Ah. Kind of. Yeah, kind of cool. I'm not sure how to get rid of this though. Just push it in behind. Oh, maybe that got rid of it. Learning curve. Huh, that's pretty neat. Magic Publisher, I don't think I'll bother with. It's I've got Final Writer, I've got the full version of Final Writer. This has got the EC version 4 SE. I won't bother. Is that will it what else does it have? Magic Publisher. Fonts, contents, pages 3 to 30 printout of all fonts, some information about fonts, printout of all clip art, introducing or uh, introduction of final writer, update and registration, update of WordWorth and MISC. Clip art and fonts, etc. Huh, look at that. We could do some desktop publishing. <laughs> kind of cool. I'm assuming it's compatible with just your final writer and maybe Wordworth. Yeah, final writer for SE, Wordworth. 4TD and Tally fonts font machine and we've got um, clip art Adobe fonts postscript on disc two there. Disc three bitmap fonts, uh, color fonts, true type fonts, DMF fonts. And BBS section. Huh. Yeah, that's interesting. Software two thousand over nineteen hundred sixty five discs. 
I think this is a double up. Software. Should we have a look? Why not? Two discs. It's a bit of a hangover there from that learning curve. Uh, please see, select your Amiga Kickstart. That's uh, two AGA Educations, Animation, Slideshow, Utilities, Jukebox, Amiga Music. Oh, yeah. Deli Tracker. I don't have any music on this machine. Um, I, must, I must sort that out at some stage. Games Collection Boulder Dash Games. IFF fonts, clip art, Magic Workbench Extra, Mega Demos, Music Demos, 1000 Spectrum Game. What's in the games? Games Pack. This disc contains nine game comp compilation. Board games, various games, arcade games pack. Monopoly, etc. Uh, various games. We said arcade one again. That one. Arcade. I don't know. It's hard to please insert. Oh yeah, it's asking for the second disc. Okay. Ah. Uh, can I be bothered? Why not? Just try one, eh? Uh, Quick bench two games. Please insert the disc two. This is disc swapping, with, except with CDs. And it's, there is a hangover from that bloody learning company disc as well, but I'm not sure if this will work out. Uh, it's just going back and forward. I can't be bothered. Uh, I guess it's a trying to, oh it's trying to extract to df0 okay I'm just going to do a quick reboot here So obviously the each game pack, you know, um, 
extracts out to floppy disks but I just can't be bothered Right, World Atlas, let's have a wee look at this one. Uh, so this is um, AGA only, would it be? Looks like it, eh? CD32 or Amiga, okay. Does it say that on there? Oh, it does too. Oh. <laughs> Can I quit? I click CD32. Austral NZ Can we click Australasia? No Yeah, I don't think it runs very well <laughs> on this chipset. <laughs> Maps doesn't seem to work. And how do we quit? CDTV Timetable of History nineteen ninety one edition. Let's do the science and innovation one, eh? Let's have a quick look at that. Maybe it needs to run on a CDTV. 
TTOH. You're out loading screen image. Hmm, yeah, maybe that's exclusive CD TV. Which I don't have. I know someone who does. Your friend of the channel, or Carcinome. Uh, well, I think that's probably probably it. I'll as I say I'll go through and um, sort out my double ups and uh, organise these discs. I've got a bunch of floppy discs. Uh, drives that I want to go through and test as well and clean and all that. I've been through that on the stream before so I won't go through that again. Shame about that um, tape drive, I was really looking forward to having to play with that. But I'll, I'll put a shout out on the uh, discords and see whether I can get some media. And I might even take a wee look and see if I can get into that tape. And uh, yeah, I'm assuming the band is broken. Maybe it's spun off off the reels, I don't know. But uh, I'll take a wee look at that and then uh, see if we can if I can recover that media. But in the meantime, I'll call it at that. I'm going to hop over and um, watch some Carcinome. Thanks Evil for coming along. You will see. We'll raid Carcinome with one, <laughs> one viewer. <laughs> You're probably watching them already, eh? 